I'm here at DSEI 2017 talking with Chris Hall, Supercats project manager for the vehicle we are standing beside. This is a new lightweight recovery platform which Supercat unveiled publicly for the first time at the show. Chris, could you tell us a little bit about the vehicle and its developmental history, please? Okay, um, so basically this is a conversion program but, um, uh, constructed by the MOD. It was originally down-selected um, from two vehicles, which was the MEN vehicle and this vehicle. Uh, the whole idea behind the program is to repurpose some uh, existing MOD vehicles um, to make these new vehicles and give it a new requirement. As you may well know, all the MOD has at the moment is the Bedford Light uh, vehicle and what we've done is basically introduced a new lightweight capability for the vehicle as the MOD has lots and lots of HMTs out there which go places which other vehicles can't recover them. So the SVR and other heavier recovery vehicles can't get into the urban environments and even the rural environments where this vehicle can. You say HMT, SVR, various other acronyms. For, for those that are not necessarily familiar with those, could you outline HMT, SVR and so on? Yes, yeah, yeah, so, of course. Uh, HMT is Supercat's um, family of vehicles, which is the innovative suspension which we have. Uh, it's done in a 4x4 or 6x6 or even the extender role for um, armed forces around the world, including uh, Norway, New Zealand, Australia and uh, indeed in the UK. Um, the SVR is the MAN recovery vehicle. It's a big 8x8 vehicle which is designed for pulling um, vehicles of it similar to its own weight of about 25 tonnes and some of the A vehicles as well. This is um, meeting that niche which is needed to get everything which is below that uh, which can get, as I said before, to the urban environments and the rural environments which that vehicle just can't get to just, just purely because of its size and its weight class. Uh, and you say the competition w was run, w when did that start and, and uh, who were the competitors and, and whereabouts are you in the competitive process now? Okay, uh, so in uh, late 2014 there was a progr uh, program run, um, MAN and ourselves were selected to be the, the two pe people putting forward uh, a response to a requirements document. Um, we were down selected from that process because we met enough key requirements uh, to, to fulfil their, their needs. Um, we then went into um, a, a contract to produce this uh, prototype vehicle back in October 2015. Um, and this vehicle has been on extensive trials at our Supercat uh, headquarters um, up until a few weeks ago um, and then it's back on to uh, MOD trials uh, as of Monday. So they'll be going to uh, a trials and development un unit at Eldershot and then on to uh, the likes of Millbrook for proving grounds and then into the water and do all the things that it needs to do to prove that it is a safe to operate platform for the users and just basically to tick off the requirements document to say yes it does do exactly what we need it to do going forward. Chris, could you outline some of the recovery capability of the platform for us, please? Yeah, certainly. Um, basically, this vehicle is designed to recover up to a Jackal 1 um, vehicle, which is about 7.5 tonnes. Uh, what we've been able to do is, through our, uh, our design process, we've highlighted ideas and, and, and ways in which we can uh, utilise something which we've called Superlift Mode, which has changed that from 3.5 tonnes to about 6.2 tonnes by just some changes to the way in which recovery is done. That's a, a patented process now through the Superlift. Um, it means that now we can recover vehicles up to the ten and a half ton mark, which is uh, similar vehicles to your Foxhounds, your Panthers, your Huskies. Uh, we haven't actually tested those yet. It's down to UK Mod to decide to do that if they want to do that in the future. But it means we can recover another lightweight recovery easily. And as I said, the Jackals, the Coyotes, are all within firmly within the the, the, the weight class of of this vehicle. Now, is that a, a lifted recovery or a towed recovery with, with a tow bar of sorts? Yeah, it's a recovery through the recovery eyes, so it's just called a suspended toe as opposed to a supported toe. A supported toe is where you lift it from underneath, say on the wishbones or on the belly plate. A suspended toe is where you lift it by the recovery eyes or through chains or something of that nature, depending on what's still left on the vehicle when you recover it. So the super lift is, is a, supported, a suspended toe rather than supported toe. And can you give us any idea of the, the quantities required and, and, and any potential delivery time frame? Is that information public domain? Uh, not this time for the quantities, it's still subject to contracts and, and testing and passing that process. Uh, ditto with regards to the, the actual timeline for delivery. It's possibly in December or uh, mid-19, but that's still yet to be, yet to be uh, commercially agreed and go through the contract approvals.